Well, howdy, folks. It's Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician here. I just, um, so over the course of the next few days, um, over the course of the next 25 to 30 hours uh, is what the book calls for, I am going to be working on the Ford 3.5 liter Duratec variable valve timed engine. Uh, from what I understand, it's an extremely complicated engine. I have never actually opened up the modern, the newer, so 2010 and on up 3.5 liter Duratec. I've, I've never messed with the timing or anything like that. I have researched it. It doesn't look too scary, actually. And so I'm going to be working on that. I'm going to be replacing the water pump. The water pump is a terrible design. It's behind the timing cover. It is chain driven. And if the water pump fails and the weep hole fails and it doesn't work like it's supposed to, it ends up dumping water down into the oil pan and it can destroy your engine. I've seen and read reports where this happens on the Ford 3.5 liter Duratec engine anywhere between 80 to 120,000 miles. This engine has 127,000 miles and it's been low on coolant for a few months. Nobody can figure out where the coolant's going, so we're gonna, we're gonna go in there and we're gonna go ahead and fix the water pump. Also, the other day, um, there was a report that upon startup, there was a growling, kind of a grinding sound coming out of the timing area. I suspect that's gonna be a timing tensioner. So either A, it's time to get rid of the car, or B, let's put some money into it, let's put some heavy labor into it, and let's get it fixed up. From what I understand, they're good engines, other than the fact that it takes 30 hours to replace a water pump. And so if you can execute this job, you can save your Ford Taurus. Also believe it's the Ford Taurus X, the Ford Taurus SEL. Um, I'm going to take a guess. I think I remember reading something that uh, this 3.5 liter V6 Duratec is also in the Ford Edge and a few other uh, Ford models. So, so it's going to be a long job. Uh, it's going to be a multi-part series and I'm going to do my best to keep it clean for you, keep it simple, and show you a really good step-by-step -step process. So stay tuned, keep watching. And over the course of the next few days, I'll be posting videos. All right, guys.